Now that you better understand why starting with and focusing on the customer is important, we'll cover how to assess their needs. There are lots of potential ways to get input from customers, and pros and cons of each. Many people assume that either surveys or Google are the easiest and fastest market research methods. Sounds compelling. While getting numbers can be valuable, there are a couple challenges with these methods. Survey questions can be hard to craft in a way that aren't biased, and results can be difficult to interpret and tend to be scrutinized. And if data is already on Google, it's old news, having been discovered by countless others. Through interviews or observations, you'll be able to get first-hand accounts of real needs or frustrations. The steps to conducting your interviews will be First, figure out who you want to interview and how you'll find them. This could be anything from talking to your classmates about an after-school club or going out on the street to talk to shoppers after a purchase. Make a list. Write an interview guide of the questions that you can ask that'll challenge or affirm assumptions you have about your users or their needs. Make sure you leave flexibility and make it a conversation, though. Next, conduct the interviews. Go out and do it. Lots of them. At least four or five for three different groups of customers that you think have the need you're addressing. And finally, analyze the data. We'll address this next week. Take good notes to be ready. When interviewing, avoid just asking if they'd like your idea or like your product. They're going to want to be nice, and this is prompting or leading. Instead, ask them about their needs, ask open-ended questions, get them to tell you about their experience or frustrations, and then dig deeper in areas of your interest. Be careful not to leave them. See the additional slides for more suggestions. Good luck with your interviews and take good notes. I'll see you next week. Thank you.